Hello everyone. Hello. Today we're going to be doing some board game trivia. I will ask Gladys 15 questions about different board games. For every question she gets right, she'll get a point. For every question she gets wrong, I will get a point. At the end of 15 questions, the loser will have to eat some Vegemite. <laughs> Which is, I think, not fair because he likes Vegemite and I don't, but okay, whatever. Feel free to play along in the comments. I will gladly eat Vegemite for anyone that beats me. First question. In Catan, what is the most amount of points you can get in a single move? Not a single turn, in a single move. Move? Yeah, a move would be like building a road, buying a card, playing a card, that sort of thing. I'm wondering if you can get more than two. I think max is two. It's either get longest road or largest army. Your answer is two. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's three. How? You can build a settlement that cuts off someone's longest road, giving you longest road. Oh, of course. One. How many years after Sushi Go was Sushi Go Party released? Yeah, I'm thinking either it's a tricky question and it's on the same year, like literally the same year, uh, or it's maybe like one or two or something like that. Like, I don't think it's so long after. Why are you asking hard questions? Don't you want to eat Vegemite? <laughs> That's not fair. Let's say it's the same year. The answer is three years. <sighs> Sushi Go was released in 2013 and Sushi Go Party in 2016. Seven Wonders Jewel. How many stone do you need to build the pyramids? But the pyramid is the one you never want to build. I mean, you do, but you know, you <laughs> rather have Artemis or something. <laughs> uh, maybe it's something like papyrus, glass, rock, rock, rock. I'm gonna say three. It's three. Yeah! <laughs> What's the actual cost then? Three stone, one papyrus. Oh, okay, there was not the glass, but I was like, yeah, not 90% sure there was actually papyrus in it. Here is an easy question for you. Oh, that, that doesn't bode well with me. <laughs> How many tiles are there in us all in total? I think there are 20 tiles each color, so 100. Lock it in. Yeah, that's right, 100. <laughs> oh boy. In the base game of Carcassonne, how many monastery tiles are there? Oh, I don't like that game. Oh, man, this is hard. Probably like something like five or six. I'm gonna go with five. Don't tell me it's six. It's six. God damn it! Ah! You know, it's it's the basic like premises of, oh, you have a nice castle, may I join? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> In It's a Wonderful World, mm -hmm. how many cubes does Atlantis cost? Okay, are we... I know it costs a crystalline. Do we count the crystalline as one cube? Cubes in total. Okay, so that's seven blue cubes and one crystalline, which is eight cubes. <laughs> Wingspan. Oh boy. <laughs> in the base game, mm -hmm. what is the largest wingspan that any bird has? And I'll, this is a tricky question, so you can get it within 20 centimeters and I'll give it to you. Okay, did you go through all the cards? Yes. <laughs> There's obviously uh, wingspans that are like 250 centimeters, so I would say probably a bit bigger. Maybe some kind of albatross or e super eagle or something. You just say a super eagle. <laughs> yeah, like a very big one. <laughs> I'm gonna say 290 centimeters. Within 20, you got it. What is it? 277. I was, I was a bit generous there, but <laughs> good, yeah. For those at home, it is the California Condor. Hmm. So it is a super eagle. <laughs> In Castles of Burgundy, how many different yellow tiles are there? Okay, that's a very unfair question because I've played twice in my whole life. I think though, it's in the 20s, so something like 26 or something. Very unfair indeed, it's 26. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that there's a tar you said you liked or something that was called 26. I yeah. Forget. What year was Patchwork released? Oh my god. I honestly don't know. So I am gonna say uh, randomly 
2014. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god! I was like 2015, but that's too brown. It's between 10 and 20. So <laughs> I was like just a bit off. Tiny towns. You know the cottage in tiny towns. Mm. Which colour resource do you need in the middle of it? Oh, it's like, it's an yeah, L shape. I know, Which I know. one do you need in the middle? I think it's blue. I think it's glass. You're going with blue. Blue's your final answer. Yes. Yes, it's blue. Thank you. <laughs> in Abyss, how many points is the apprentice worth? Points. Points. Nine. <laughs> She's like my second favorite card. I don't know why you would ask that. <laughs> In Everdell, how many points is the cemetery worth? Oh, okay. Honestly, it's a card I've never played. <laughs> it's really hard. But seeing it costs you a worker, it should give you more than one point. The question is, does it give two or three? I don't know. Probably three? Lots of them, it's two. <laughs> it's zero. Gives you no points. Oh, what? That's that's rubbish. Why? It costs you workers. But you can build like the palace for free. Oh, I guess. Yeah, that pays back for it, I suppose. Yes, got a point. <laughs> King Domino. In the base game, if you get every single crown and every single tile of every color, which color scores the most I am so confused by that question. What? Uh, which which color has the highest scoring potential if you get every crown and every tile of that color? Oh, I feel like the mines would be uh, maybe a bait, but I don't know. Because you get one, two, three, four, two, one, two, one. I think it, there's 10 crowns in the mines. I, I'm gonna say mines, but it's a bait, I think. Not even close. It's the forest. You can get 132 points if you get every crown and every tile. Res Arcana. Can you name at least three of the mages that feature on the box art? Well, um, the, that's quite of an easy question in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's 100% uh, the transmuter on the box, the necromancer, the duelist, I uh, know there's the druid, but I don't remember the fifth, but it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for Necromancer, Transputer, and Duelist. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The Artificer. Oh, the Artificer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Okay, last question. In Welcome To, how many pools are there in the deck? Okay, I looked at it a long time ago. Um, but I don't really remember it. I can see it in my head, the picture I made of all the cards. Oh my god! Seven is my guess. The answer is nine. Ah, yeah, I wasn't far, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay, that makes sense. My bad. <laughs> okay, what's the final score? Well, here there's nine points, and there's like six points here, so... I'm, not, I'm safe from Vegemite for today, at least. <laughs> That looks disgusting. Smell? I hate that smell. Can it's not smell? No, no. Is that enough? That is way too much. Mm. Oh, close that thing. This is terrible. Like, mm, that's good. You know, I can smell that thing from another room sometimes. It's so bad. Let me know if I have to eat any more in the comments. And stay tuned for my questions. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.